Hey everybody, the Apple TV Streaming Box has a new feature that lets it color balance your television using just the camera on your iPhone. I'm going to test it right now. So to use Apple's new Apple TV color balance feature, you're going to need the latest version of tvOS on your Apple TV box, as well as the latest version of iOS on your phone. That's 14.5 for both of those. Of course, since it's Apple, you're also going to need an iPhone. This does not work with Android devices. So I've got an Apple TV right here. This is the original Apple TV 4K with the uh, OG remote. There's a newer one coming out in a little bit, but it works. This ser service works with pretty much any Apple TV made since 2015. I'm going to back out of the menu here and just show you where to find it. In the regular Apple TV menu, you're going to go to settings, and then you're going to drill down to video and audio. And by the way, Dolby Vision, if the television that you have has Dolby Vision, this service won't work with Dolby Vision. So if you turn on Dolby Vision, you'll get a grayed out section here when it goes to color balance. I'm going to leave Dolby Vision off for this test. So we're going to go to color balance right here. You can see it says Apple TV will measure the color response of your television and calibrate its output to improve overall picture quality. So let's try it out here. So now I'm on the screen. It says adjust color balance. So it's telling me to go to my phone. My phone here has a little notification on it. I'm going to hit continue. It says preparing. Hold your phone up to the TV to begin measurement. So I'm going to do that now. All right. Now it says it's measuring. There we go. Now it's measuring the colors, red, green, blue. It's also doing a series of white grayscale measurements. It's taken about, what, 15 seconds here so far. Now it says color balance complete. Same thing on the phone. So let's view results. All right, so it starts on the balance thing. I guess this is the post look here, and we got a beach scene here. I'm going to flip it over now to original. So there is a big difference there. I don't know if you can see that too well on your screen, but the original uh, sand looks a little bit bluer to me. We go to balanced, it's a little bit warmer and redder. Now when I review TVs, I shoot for the industry standard color tone known as D65, which does look a bit red. That red is kind of what you want. You want a more warm color tone, D65 we call it, 6500K. You go back here, this is the original for this picture mode. And it definitely looks a little bit bluer on the sand. You can see a little bit of blue uh, in the white areas here. So personally, I do like the balanced look a lot better. So success. There's some caveats though. Let's get into that now. First off, this really only works with an Apple TV's input. So if you have another device connected to your television, like a game console, cable box, whatever, this color balance is not going to affect that device, strictly for Apple TV. Another thing to know is that your mileage may vary. This is a really accurate TV that I have in this video, but I've tested TVs where the color accuracy is also very good in movie and cinema mode, even less expensive models. So again, the only way to really tell is to try it with your TV and see if you like that color balance better. The bigger thing, however, is that it's dependent on the picture mode on your television. Now, every TV actually has the ability to adjust color balance itself. The easiest way to do that is to go into the picture menu and select an accurate picture mode. The most accurate modes in my testing are generally movie or cinema, like cinema on this LG TV. Extremely accurate. In fact, it was so accurate that when I first set up this uh, Apple TV feature to test, I used cinema mode and Apple TV told me, hey, this thing actually is already calibrated. You don't need to do anything. The Apple TV didn't change its output at all. It was already color balanced in movie and cinema mode. Now, a lot of TVs out there, especially high-end ones, and the Apple TV 4K especially as a high-end box, are gonna be really good, relatively color balanced in those movie and cinema modes. The flip side is different picture modes like standard, sports, vivid, those are gonna have really bad color balance, meaning that their color temperatures or white point, white balance, is gonna generally be bluer. So on these TVs, if you switch it to a movie or a cinema mode, it's gonna look redder, more accurate. That's pretty much exactly what the Apple TV 4K is doing when it reads your TV's picture quality using the phone's camera. That white 
swatch that the phone camera measures is actually gonna tell the Apple TV whether that it's blue or whether it's red or whether it's somewhere in between, and it'll adjust the Apple TV's output accordingly. So in sum, this is a really cool feature because it does improve the accuracy if your television, or in particular the picture mode that you are using, isn't accurate. The flip side, to get the same result, you can pretty much switch it into that movie or picture mode, or if you want to get super technical, dive down into the menu and play around with the white balance controls, look for something like warm or warm too, that's going to get you pretty much 90% of the way there. But if you want to use this cool new feature, try it out. It actually will improve that picture mode with pretty much any television. Of course, overall, I do recommend using the movie or cinema mode on your television or one of the other picture modes designed for better picture accuracy like Filmmaker. Some TVs have a calibrated bright mode, for example. Those will give you generally accurate color balance as well for pretty much any device, including an Apple TV. That's a quick look at Apple's new Apple TV color balance feature. I'm David Katzmeyer for CNET.